Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn about orthographic views. This is a new topic that we'll be doing in second year that you never did in first year graphic communication. So hopefully, by the end of this unit, you should be able to uh, describe the meaning of the term orthographic, so explaining what that, what that word means. And you should be able to draw, or in this case, maybe sketch elevations end elevation and plan views of an object or a block. And most importantly, correctly positioning these views on your page. Okay, so orthographic views. What is orthographic projection? Okay, a lot of us won't know what this term orthographic means. So if we take it and we look at this, think about the term orthodontist. What does an orthodontist do? Well, if you see there, there's all these braces on this boy's teeth. The orthodontist is trying to straighten somebody's teeth. So, ortho is a Greek word meaning straight, right or square. So, orthodontist is trying to straighten somebody's teeth. The term graphic from the Greek word meaning to draw. So, when we put those two together, orthographic means to draw objects looking straight on or square onto the object. So that's what orthographic means. It's basically look, drawing something when you're looking straight on at it. Okay, so let's take an example of this. Here we've got a, a very little block. It, um, it almost looks like a little step. And we're going to think about how we can actually look at this block straight on. So the first time we do it, we're going to look straight on the front of the block. And this here is what's called the front elevation. So there's going to be three views, or three different ways we're going to look at it. This being the first. So looking straight on the front. And we've got Bart Simpson here to try and help us. Think about what he would actually be looking at as he's looking straight on the front. And what he'd actually see is this little shape here. So he wouldn't see the top. He wouldn't see the side, the bottom. He'd be looking straight on the front. And he'd see this almost like an L shape on its side. So we think about where else Bart could go and see a totally different view, orthographic view, would be to go around to the side here, and this is looking now on the end elevation. So looking on the end elevation, again, think about what Bart would see, which parts of the block he would see. He would actually only see two parts of the block. He would see the square at the bottom, and he'd see the square at the top, and they would look like they'd be sitting on top of each other. So that's the end elevation. And then we try and think of a totally different way to look at this again. And what we've got is we've got a little helicopter sitting straight on top of the block, looking down on top of it. And this is what's called our plan view. OK, so again, thinking about what we'd see looking down on top of it, we'd see the two top surfaces. We wouldn't see the sides or the ends or anything like that. And what you'd see are these two squares sitting side by side on each other. So these are the three orthographic views. We've got the front elevation, we've got the end elevation, and we've got the plan view. Now, it's all about how we actually position these views. So it's very, very important how we position them so that we understand how the views relate to each other. We could just position them anywhere on the page like we did when we were looking at it with um, Bart Simpson, but properly we need to lay them out in relation to each other. So the way this is started is that we draw a ground line. So a ground line is just a starting point. If we're doing this on a drawing board, we would draw this with the T-square going straight across. If you're doing this we just uh, with a sketch, we just draw a line with our ruler. On top of the ground line, we would draw the elevation. So position the elevation on the ground line and we would draw exactly what we see. So the next thing that we're going to do is draw the plan. Now the plan, as we saw, you have to be directly above the block to see that. So what we do is we draw it directly above the elevation. So if I draw the plan, what I would see, 
direct level of the elevation, there we go. Now notice that it is the same size, so the overall length of the plan is the same as the overall length of the elevation, and where there's a little step, the line on the plan lines up with them perfectly. So the last view is the end elevation. It could either be in the left or it could be in the right. So you're either looking to the left or looking from the right. And again, it will rest on the ground line. So there is our left elevation, left end elevation. So looking from the left, you can see the two parts. Okay. So again, just drawing this on a drawing board or sketching it, you'd have your elevation, you'd have your plan view looking directly above it and to the side of it you would have your end elevation. Okay, there is a little bit of um, an added part to this. If we can't see something, we have to use a special line called hidden detail. So the easiest way to do this is by showing you. So here I've drawn the elevation of this block. I'm going to draw the end, the plan view. So looking down the top of it, you see three surfaces. Looking from the left, you will see the front and you'll see a little bit of the, the top. And looking from the right, you'll just see a big plain surface. Now we know that on both the left elevation and the end elevation that there's something else happening. So we've got to show that using a special type of line. Instead of being a solid line, we use a dotted line called hidden detail. So on the end elevation, lining up with where the little cutout is, we added the dotted line, which is a hidden detail line. And on the right end elevation, we'll add one for the upper raised bit and one for the lower raised bit. And that shows us our hidden detail on our blocks.